let us look at a uh, few examples where I am going to explain how we can multiply fraction starting with a simplest num uh, number, uh, simplest example. So, first question is 6 times half. So, instead of telling you the answer, what does this mean? So, if you want to write this in English or in words, how would you write this? So, what are they asking? 6 times half. They are asking you, if you divide 6 into half, okay, so how many halves or if you divide 6 into 2 parts. So, this basically is 6 divided by 2. Okay, you are dividing. So, there are how many, if you divide 6 into half, there are how many, what would be the answer? Okay, so here, okay, if you want to draw a diagram, so this is, if you split this in, say, half, so this is one, this is one group, okay, and this is the other group. So this is split in two groups, okay. So the answer is three, yeah. So six times half is same as six divided by two which is 3. That means when you are dividing this into halves, each of this half will have how many number? That is 3. So, 6 times half is same as 6 divided by 2. This is also a good thing to remember. 6 times half is same as 6 divided by 2. So, here the next question is half times quarter. So, here the, the question is, so when you divide a half, into quarter, you will get how many? So, the question is, what is, the question is, what is one quarter of a half? One quarter of a half. Okay, or it can also be what is, if you, it can also be what is half of a quarter, the one and the same thing. So, I have drawn, say this is a pi, I have split this into eight parts. Okay, now here, so let me select, so this is, so let me take, uh, okay, so let me go back, so this is, this is divided in, so they, you've got four parts in the top and four parts in, so each of this section is, I hope you can understand, is one eighth, each of this part is one eighth, so let me delete it, so let me take only one section out and I hope you can see this is one eighth. Okay, each of this section or each of this sector or you can say cake is one eighth. So we want a half, a quarter of a half. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this away, I'm going to highlight it and I'm going to cancel delete it. So yeah look at the diagram. So, now you got a half. Okay, so, now this half, the question is this, what is quarter of a half? So, when you are doing quarter of a half, you are splitting this into four parts. So, this is, these are four parts. What is a quarter? So, each of them is a quarter. So, this is the one half has been divided into four equal parts. So, each of them is one eighth. Each of them is one eighth. So, here the answer is one eighth. So, what is a half? What is a quarter of a half? Or a half of a quarter is one eighth. But when you do the maths, you do like this. So, one half times a quarter. So, when you are multiplying fractions, you multiply the top number. So, it's one times one over two times four. And that's why a quarter of a half or a half of a quarter is one eighth. Okay, so let's look at one more question. Three half times quarter. Okay, so let us do the maths first and then let us look at that. So when if you do the maths, you multiply the top number, so that is three times one over two times four, which is three eight. Now when you do the maths only, but don't understand what is, how do you get 3 8 or how do you explain that? Uh, so, this is 1, 1, 3 half 
is nothing but one and one half. Three half is nothing but one and one half. So this is one whole and this is this is also one whole. So I'm going to take away half from this. So this is let me take away these four sectors. So I'm going to highlight this and I'm going to delete it. So let us understand the match. So this is now you've got one whole and a half. So this is this is one whole, which is two halves, and this is half. Okay. So this is one whole is same as eight. This is this is divided into eight equal parts. So this is eight out of eight. This is eight out of eight, and this is one, two, three, four. It's four out of eight. So this is also a good explanation of one how one half is nothing but four eighths. And this one whole is nothing but two eight two two halves or eight eighths. Okay, so now the question is you want to split this into quarters. So let me first. So let me. So this is one group. So. So this you want to divide into. So each of them is one eighth. Okay, so this is one group. So this is the second group so this is one group so this is uh, one two three so you want to divide into quarters so this is four groups so let me make four, four groups so so this is four groups so you're dividing this into quarters so can you see this is four groups so this is one two, three, four. Okay, so this is one group, this is two group, this is the third group, and this is the fourth group. Now in each of the group, there are how many eights? So this is one eighth, two eights, three eights. So this is, so this is three eights. So this, I hope you can understand, three eight. This is also three eight. This is three eight, and this is three eight. I hope I have not confused you. So this whole thing was, was we started with three halves, okay, so three halves is one and one half, and that you're dividing into four groups, okay, so here if you want to write the English, so here you're making a quarter, so how many quarters, so how many, or groups of four, how many groups or not groups of four. So how many quarters in three eight? Okay, so this three half times one quarter. So let me explain that. So three half times quarter is same as asking three half divided by four this and this are the same. So here the question is, when you divide 3 half into 4 equal groups, there are, how much is there in each group? This and this are the same. Okay, so this is 4 out of 1. So when you divide 3 halves into 4 groups, each group will have 3 eighths. And that's the maths behind this.